title of our sermon today is Journey Beyond the Stars. I have some questions for you. Here's the first question. What were the names of the first two people who ever lived? Adam and Eve. Yes, their names were Adam and Eve. Where did Adam and Eve live after they were created? The Garden of Eden. Yes, in the Garden of Eden. Did Adam and Eve perfectly happy on the Garden of Eden? Yes. Yes, they were. Did they know anything about sin or sadness or pain or death? No, they only knew happiness. Did Adam and Eve were not allowed to eat the fruit from how many trees? One. They could not eat from just one tree. Who was in the tree? Satan. Satan was there. What kind of animals did Satan pretend to be? Snake. He pretended to be a snake. Did Adam and Eve disobey God and eat the fruit from the tree? Yes. Yes, they did. What did Adam and Eve have to do after they disobey God? Yes, they had to live on the Garden of Eden. God has planned for Adam and Eve to live forever, but they sinned. They disobeyed God. Now they couldn't be allowed to live forever. Where there is sin, there is sadness and pain and death. God couldn't allow sin to stay on His perfect kingdom. It would ruin everything forever. But Jesus loves them so much. He told God the Father, I will die for them. I will go live on earth. I will take their punishment. God the Father and Jesus knew that the plan was risk. But Jesus was willing to take the risk. He would come to this earth as a tiny baby. He would live on this earth with all the trials and temptations. He would overcome Satan the same way we can overcome. Imagine the king of the universe come to our sad world and living like we live. Jesus was willing to do it because he loves us so much. When Jesus came to this world, Satan was glad. He thought, now I can win. I will get Jesus to sin. This plan will be spoiled. Jesus will be a servant. Every day, Satan tried to get Jesus to do wrong. But Jesus did not sin. Do you wonder how he kept from sinning? Here is what he did. Jesus prayed. He spent time every day praying to his Father in heaven. He asked him for grace, power to keep him from sin. Jesus studied the Bible and memorized many Bible verses. When Satan came with a temptation, Jesus answered with words from the Bible, and he trusted in God's grace to keep him from sin. Can we do all these things too? Yes! Yes, we can! We can have the same victories that Jesus did! Jesus lived on this earth for more than 30 years. You know that Jesus did not sin? Not even once. And you know that Jesus hated the most this world? And he decided to try to make the people hate Jesus so much that they would kill him. But the people loved Jesus. He was so kind to them. He healed their sick. He taught them about the kingdom of heaven. He showed them what God was like. And the people loved to listen to Jesus. They told each other, This must be the Messiah. Let's make him our king. When Jesus was on earth, the nation of Rome ruled the world. The Jewish leaders did not like to be ruled by Rome. That's why the Jewish leaders met together to talk about Jesus. And finally, they nailed Jesus to a cross on a hill called Calvary. Jesus would have asked God to send thousands of angels. The angels would have stopped those wicked men. But Jesus did not do that. Jesus gave up his life on the cross and died because he loved us all the people so much. Jesus died for us so that we can live with him forever. Before Jesus went back to heaven, he has a promise to his people. He said, I am going to heaven to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. John 14 verse 3 that is special promise to us, and He will come again and save us unto Himself. Jesus, Jesus is coming back with His angels. 
Jesus is coming back for the people who chose to love and serve him. He is coming back to take us to heaven. He is preparing a mansion in heaven for each one of us. Do you want to live on a heavenly home? Yes. If you want, be ready and prepare yourself for Jesus' soon return. God knows the future. When Jesus was on earth, he told his disciples many things about the future. And from the very beginning of time, he told his prophets many secrets about the future. The Bible prophecies tell of things to look for, like signs, to identify the last days. When it is time for Jesus to come back, the sky will roll together. There will be lightning and thunder. There will be a great earthquake. We will see a small dark cloud in the east, about half the size of a man's hand. The cloud will get bigger and brighter until it fills the sky. As it comes closer, we will see thousands and thousands of beautiful angels. Right in the middle, Jesus will be sitting in the throne. The Bible says, every eye will see him. Revelation 1 verse 7. The people who love Jesus will be so happy. But those who do not love and obey Jesus will be afraid. They will want to hide, but there will be nowhere to hide. Jesus will go out. Awake! Awake! You that sleep in the dust and arise. When Jesus calls, the dead people who love Jesus will come out of their graves and grow right up to Jesus. And then it will be our turn. If we love Jesus, He will call us to, to come up with Him too. If we are all there, he will take us an incredible journey through space. We'll move through our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and we will keep going. We will journey past millions of stars and through galaxies we never knew existed. Somewhere beyond the farthest star, we will reach the most glorious place in the universe. The Bible calls it heaven. Jesus has planned many special wonders for us in heaven. The Bible says that we cannot even imagine how glorious heaven is. If we miss heaven, we will miss the wonderful new homes Jesus will make for us right now. We will miss eating from the tree of life. We will miss the, wonder, the beautiful new earth Jesus will make for us. We will miss being with Jesus forever. We will miss being with Jesus forever. Maybe you are afraid to let Jesus control your life. Maybe you are afraid that Jesus will want to give up some scenes that you like very much. Maybe you think you will be sad and miserable if you follow Jesus all the way. These thoughts are lies from Satan. Satan himself will pretend he is Jesus. Many people who worship Satan are think they are worshiping Jesus. What a terrible thing! I don't want to worship Satan. Do you? That's why it's so important to know what the Bible says. Jesus is coming soon. Let's say it together. Jesus is coming soon. The people who follow Jesus are the happiest people in the world. But those who hold unto their sins are the ones who are miserable. Won't you say yes to happiness? Won't you say yes to Jesus? If you feel that way too, kneel with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, we're kneeling here because we want to say yes to Jesus. We want to let Him be in charge of every part of our lives. We want to be part of the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for sending Jesus to die so that we can live forever. Please help us to be ready to meet Jesus when He comes. In Jesus' name, Amen.